Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I'm moving this a little, sorry. Okay, um, so I've been working on this journal still, so if you have stuff that you want to craft or whatever, go ahead and get that out. Um, I do want to show you what I've done to the inside of this, because this is the outside that we did yesterday and I showed you. There's just strings over it. Look, you can see the um, coffee staining through the this lace, because it's so light. And then um, on the inside, I took a tea towel and I just stitched all over it and let me see I, oh yeah you guys can see so there's just stitches and they're not straight and they're not like anything specific it's just all different stitching patterns and whatever that I stitched all over the tea towel and then well I cut it down to size first and then I stitched all over it and um, I took the tacky glue and I just watered it down a little bit not a lot and one of those sponge brushes and brushed you know like this section put it down and then did this section and then, then the last section um, the reason I'm telling you that is because it's not stitched on because I did not want the stitches to come through all over on this side so that is why it's glued on instead of stitched on there is a pocket I had oh I have the I've stuck these whole things in there because I didn't want this fabric to stick to the other fabric so um, and then this is all tacked down now I stitched I did stitch this down so that it, it's got a good you know it's gonna stay down but this feels really good like it's not moving at all it's not bubbling or anything weird so I may do one more stitch right there I just noticed that that's kind of a blank spot so I might do that since it'll just be there I don't know maybe not um, so that's that so I thought we could maybe work on some of the stuff on the inside, or I also have, I'll show you what I did. I just added a few things to these papers. This is just one of the pockets that's in the digital kit, 1891. So, um, and I left the back because I had uh, printed this design on the back of this piece of paper. So um, that I didn't have to do a whole lot to. And then where's the other one? Um, I added this pocket that's from the kit as well and for this tag it did have other stuff on the back um, because I had messed up the original print so I just covered it with tea stain paper and then this is a piece of my old paper digi that I just stuck on there because it looked kind of neat so that slides right in there so that's as far as I've gotten with that and then um, our cover I still don't have Velcro because I haven't gone to the store. I try to stay away from the stores on weekends if possible. I did go to Hobby Lobby yesterday, but that's pretty rare. So I have these two pockets on the front, and so I thought we could make journaling cards for those. And then on the inside, what I think I'm going to do is um, add these like envelope flips. Everybody's been playing with envelopes. It seems like you know most of the summer we've all had different versions of whatever so um, I might cut this one down at just a t yeah probably not I'll probably just leave it and have it the same height as where this envelope is it doesn't really matter there's this dip right here but I just won't put glue there um, but that'll probably go there and it's an envelope and this envelope will open out like that I cut the top off of this envelope so that it can be a pocket and then on this side, I was watching um, Wendy's Journal Adventure, and she's been doing all kinds of different envelope things. And I don't know if this is exactly like she's done. I think she did one pretty much like this, but um, I, it just got me playing with envelopes, if I can figure out which way that I had it. I guess I messed it up. All right, so what it is going to be is like, um, what do you call it, concertina kind of thing so it'll open this way and then open out this way does that make sense so it's three envelopes three kind of those legal size envelopes and I haven't decided if I'm cutting the tops off or I probably will have to because I don't think it'll be very easy to slide things in and out of the sides with the way the pockets are but that's what will go in here and then these I may just like collage or decorate maybe with a little kind of tuck pocket there because it it can get a little bit thicker because there is a gusset and I fixed this gusset but um, I don't want it to get like 
so crazy thick that it's like sticking up like this too much. I mean, it's going to do that a little bit because when you put the journal in the inside, it's going to tend to pooch out a little bit where that's at. But anyway, so that's what we got going on. So I think I'm going to work on these journaling cards. And this should go fairly quick because um, a lot of it is going to be covered by these ladies. And these are in the 1891 Digi. And I'm going to use some of Medieval Mirage's um, eclectic essentials I, I'm using volume one and two and I don't really know which one's which so but um, you can definitely go and check them out and see which one you like better or whatever all right so I hope everybody's having a good day it's um, too hot to be outside I just I, once it gets past 90 I'm out like I just don't even like it I don't enjoy it I just sit there and sweat and it's miserable. We did go out this morning and hang out for a bit before it got too bad, but I'm a wimp like that. I just don't like it anymore. I used to when I was younger, but not anymore. It just makes me feel miserable. So, and I hate just sitting there dripping in sweat. It's disgusting. These papers are so pretty. So, so pretty. And as I've mentioned before, Joff is just super nice lady, so um, definitely worth checking her out. She always sends very nice conversations and things. So, let me see. I might see what I was trying to do is keep her dress, but. Um, and I do kind of like it because it's it's like she's at the beach. Can you imagine wearing that to the beach? Wouldn't that just be something to wear to the beach? <laughs> I just laugh when I see some of these old images because I can't even imagine wearing all that. Talk about being too hot. It's no wonder they passed out all the time. And they're wearing corsets and all kinds of garbage underneath there too. It's just nuts when you think about it. I think I am going to at least tear the edges of this just because I don't want it to be so square. I think that might be what's bugging me. just seems too, too, too straight for this. But I really liked these images. They're just, they like remind me of Paris or something like that. I don't know why because I've never been to Paris and wouldn't know, but I guess from movies or something is what's, that's what it makes me think of. Quite fabulous. Ink it a bit. And this isn't anything like super exciting. It's just that I want to be working on this. Um, but I did want to show you that cover so that you could see how I did the inside. It was tricky. I couldn't think how I wanted to do that because. Um, I didn't want to stitch all the way through, obviously, again, after, you know, would kind of mess up what I had on there already. And I kind of got the idea because I, you guys have seen this if you watch my channel, but I did this tea, these tea bags, if I can find it, that I stitched all over. And I kind of wanted to do that again, but I couldn't think of a way to make it work. So this is just a tea bag that I did all different stitches on behind this picture. And um, so I was kind of thinking of doing something like that again, but I, I just didn't like the way it was looking. I laid it out and wasn't crazy about it. So then I'm like, I could just stitch all over the tea towel. And that worked out pretty good. I like the way it came out interest to it. Now these tags are not going to be able to be super thick. I'm not going to be able to add a whole bunch to it. I mean I'll probably do um, fabric at the top but it has to slide in and out of that very long pocket and I don't think it's going to work great if I make it very dimensional. So these probably aren't going to be like super exciting but 
and I probably won't put that on there totally straight and then I want something at the bottom and I'm thinking maybe like some kind of washi might be cool so let me get this glued down I need some book page and again this is the book that possibly has bad words so I apologize for that oh these ones are double sided I didn't realize that I did that I thought I was tying the ones that I had that were single-sided. Hmm, maybe I like that one better. I mean, there's because there's this one's a little bit matchy, like the blues. It kind of is matchy. Plus, I like this darkness of the clock back there. So I think that's what I'll do. Sorry. <laughs> Change my mind. Try to do this a little faster. Works better if you've just got something behind it. I've got my little glass thing and I don't know why I'm not using it. Just another thing in the way, basically. Okay, that's a little bit faster. too much fun with this with the fabric playing with the fabric so I'm going to come all the way to the top because I definitely I want to put some washi at the bottom so I don't I don't need to come down closer to the bottom I just want to try to get it as straight as I can which is not very straight probably because I never do oopsie <laughs> I don't know why I struggle with that so much it's weird I think it's um, I think it's the tearing because it looks like the edge is straight, but it's not. Not that I'm great at it anyway, but that definitely won't work. So hopefully you guys are um, staying cool and. I haven't heard about the hurricane. I tend not to watch very much news on the weekends. I watch more during the week. I don't know why, but I do. So I don't know what's going on with that. Just hope everybody's safe. I always feel bad for people in those areas. I mean, I say that all the time, but I do. And I know for a lot of them, it's not that big of a deal. They go, they go through it every year. But I'd be a wreck. Sorry, I just moved the whole thing. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one. So there's like the letters and the there's like butterflies and things. I am going to put a little extra glue on there because they tend to peel off sometimes. Not always. Some washi's really strong, others not so much. Now it wants to go crooked. And I'll just cut off the little parts that are hanging over. If I can find my scissors to do so. I've got scissors everywhere because I've been sewing and, you know, doing the paper. It just makes for a mess, basically. Like, it wasn't bad enough that we all use paper and then we add, <laughs> add a bunch of um, fabric to it. And now I've got strings from one end to the other. Sorry, I'm trying to peel off a piece of this for my finger. It won't come off. I think I do want to bring it down a bit because I like this and like I said I probably will be putting some um, fabric up there I have this piece that came off of that napkin or tea towel thinking I just want to kind of put it on there for some reason I don't know why I can cut it and I'm going to kind of cut it at more of an angle I 
I do want a little dimension on there at least. Plus that kind of gives it that stitched. I mean, I will go around the edge anyway with stitching, but um, I don't think that's the right color. I like this green, that might be kind of neat under there. Let me glue her on first so you can see I messed up on the back. So I printed again because it was my good paper. Uh, this is that presentation paper is the thicker paper I used. I've had lots of questions. So it's the Epson, because I have one of those Epson printers with the big tanks so that you can have lots of um, ink in there. And so I use that presentation paper to do like these type images that I might fussy cut out just so they're a little thicker. But when I do um, like regular copy paper, it's just regular old copy paper that I use. I don't use anything special to like do the front and back pages. because I want to be able to fold it. I don't want anything thick. And I've tried to find some nice, like, copy paper, but, I mean, I, I guess essentially a copy paper is copy paper. For, from what I can figure out, if you guys have found other stuff, let me know. Something like that, maybe? So, so you don't throw away your scraps. <laughs> Even though it might drive you insane. Because you never know where you're going to use it. It'd be good to have like a little flower on there, but again, I'm worried about the dimension. So maybe one of my sister's little flowers will work. Come down here a little bit further. Needs to wiggle around on that washi tape. any pink ones out here right now I could use let me see sorry have this kind of stuff too I think that's gonna be too thick I can just feel feel this thickness Use one of these and just cut off the tassel y thing. Get these at Hobby Lobby. You can find all kinds of cool stuff at Hobby Lobby, which I'm sure y'all know. But I just like to tell people where I get stuff if I can or remember to do so. Yeah, that one might work. We'll just give it a little something, but. Um, I'm just going to kind of tap it a little with some ink so it's not quite as glaring. I don't think it matters what the front or back is on that. And I am going to put a little bit on each one of the little flower tips because, um, again, it's going in and out of that envelope and I don't want it to be catching all the time because that's annoying. Normally I would just glue down the flower, but in the middle. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll stitch around it. I've got to add something to the back too to write on, but we'll work on this one while we're waiting for it to dry. Let's see. I want to use the same thing. Same on that side, and this has a lady on it. But if I use the middle, I'm not going to be able to see a whole lot of anything on there if I do that. 
Let's see what else I have. This digi. I don't know if this will work. It's not very long though. Hmm. It might work. It's just the flowers. I don't think it's big enough. Something like that might be better. Had a lot of fun making this digi. The only thing I struggle with is finding like backgrounds, and you know I've gone to all different like um, Victorian Albert and New York Public Library and uh, Smithsonian, and, like all different places trying to find um, stuff that I can use for backgrounds. That's just really the hard part for me to find. Let's see, I just want to get. I'm not going to see a whole lot of that. I don't want to tear it a whole lot because of her fan. I guess the fan might have to get lost, but... But yeah, so that tends to be my biggest stumbling block, it seems. And I need to do get um, graphics fairy, and I just haven't done it. It's another thing to pay for every month. <laughs> but... You know, sometimes it gets hard to justify all these things that you got to pay for every month. It's all going to get covered. I mean, I'm not that worried about the rows. It's, but I do want to see some of these flowers. So maybe I'll put washi at the top for this one. I know you put all this stuff down, and as everybody says, it gets covered up. That's just kind of the way it is. Otherwise, you have no interest in the background whatsoever. So I've been watching Gail the last two days because she's been doing stuff with um, like playing cards and just game pieces and all that. And I have all these cards that I got. I got like a whole stack of these at work that, I mean, clearly that's not anything I'm going to use. And so I was thinking, because she was doing all kinds of cool stuff with them, I could do some of those things and also cover them with fabric the way I did the cover of that book. So I might do some of those for this journal. That would be kind of fun. I mean, you can make ATC cards and all that, but I have a whole stack, and it's like, what do you do with all these? They're just going to throw them away, and I'm like, you can't just throw those away. <laughs> uh, they probably think I'm insane. They might be right, I don't know. But yeah, so I grabbed a bunch of them. You could even make like two from things at Christmas time and that, that would be another good thing to do with them. Can't find the start of this. I'm wondering, maybe I'll use this darker one. These are Tim Holtz ones. I don't, because I don't want to see the name and stuff up there. Do you have a fuzzy stuck on it? Imagine that. 
there's a uh, string on my glue. <laughs> uh, see, it's bad enough when you use paper and then you use fabric and it just becomes completely crazy. we'll see a little more flowers and I am going to tear around that one too and I might tear a little bit more even though some of her fans going to get gone sort of thing too. There we go, and then we can see a little bit more stuff. ladies. There's another piece of that, but I don't know if I want to do that same thing. Let's see, what else do we have? A mess. Big, huge mess. This is just a piece of um, medieval mirage, but I kind of like that rosette thing right there. And then what else do I want? of stuff. Sometimes I just like even like that kind of thing. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, we have a little bit of this. I have one that's... Mm, I cannot find my scissors, I'm telling you. It's a disaster. had it all clean. I know I keep saying that, but I seriously did. <laughs> and then I just destroy it again. It's like, why, why can't I just do this and not make a complete mess out of everything? I don't know. And then I'll probably end up stitching that piece on somehow because that's just how I want it. <laughs> okay, so let me ink this a little bit. And like I said, this is off of a piece of Medieval Mirage. Put this one down first. Oh, whoops. I was like, where did what? the way. Just trying to figure out kind of where. Got big goobers. And then this piece is going to have to go under as well. I must have had that. Let me cut a little bit more off of this. See, you just move something a hair and it changes everything.
See, I get out pages and then I don't use them and then I end up with glue all over my mat. Oh, hold on just a minute. Hi everybody, I'm back. So um, that was my sister calling and so we had to go help her with a mattress and stuff like that. So anyway, I did end up covering the back of these and just adding a little strip. This is uh, the Medieval Mirage and this is out of my 1891 Digi. So that's those and I will stitch around them but we need to add some fabric pieces. So I thought we could do that. We'll just do it to one and then I'll let you guys go. Because I know you've seen me do it before but there might be some people that haven't seen it or whatever so we're just going to do, do a little bit and so I'm just going to take a piece of fabric and I'm going to use the same fabrics that I use to cover the front of the journal and I'll just do one so you can see what it looks like um, in the pocket if I can rip this which is probably not going to happen to my other scissors or I'll just use these <laughs> I don't know what I did with them they're in the mess somewhere I have a mess again I'll just fray it Oh, they're right in my cup right there. Seriously. See, that's what happens when you put them away. <laughs> and I don't want them too tall. The other day I kind of did that other one a little too tall. So this is about the size that I like to do for each one. Because if they get too long, they start to look weird. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue up here. And I know I added this washi tape and all that. But I won't cover it entirely. I'm just going to put a little bit up here to hold them on until I can stitch it. And just kind of start placing those on and then when you stitch them you know they'll be permanently there and you just need to make sure that you get a little bit of overlap on them that one's a little bit wide so that um, you know they don't look like there's weird gaps between them and that's really the trick I've figured out is that you just have to do some overlapping or it doesn't work great doesn't look as good. That one's a little bit tall. Good thing is you can just do that and then fray it some more. <laughs> All right, and a piece of this. And it's amazing because I tore a lot of these pieces off when I was making the cover and so I'm using these pieces and then a lot of things I'll find uses for even the little ones so um, it, it gets used. Up. And I want some lace on there as well so let me see if I can find any that I like to use. Like this. We're going to take, oh, it's still too tall. And since this doesn't fray, like a lot of things that don't fray, or if I just want a different edge, I'll um, use these pinking shears. I'm going to overlap, because you can see through this, so that's the nice part about the lace. And let's use a piece of this. I really like having all the fabric up at the top. I'm definitely hooked on that lately for quite a while. I just like it when it sticks out of the pockets and stuff. I think it's fun. All right, so I'm going to stitch that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. So I um, thought I should tell you because I said about this size. Well, these are about an inch and a half long by an inch wide, roughly. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like this one's skinnier and I mean, it's just an idea of the size that I'm talking about. So I can show you. I stitched around so you can see it a little bit better on this side. And that's all I did. And then when we put them in here. a little bit tight in there and I'm not sure why 
but anyway that's what they'll look like inside of there so you'll get to see the fringes sticking out the top and then eventually hopefully we will get this attached <laughs> so something roughly like that is what the front will look like so if you um, like my videos please like and subscribe and we will see you as i keep working on this talk to you later bye bye now